Hello, and welcome back to another storytelling. I feel like I take you to a place today, a place between heaven and hell, more to the hell side, a place where people live to suffer and bring pain to others, a place where, or a place people have heard of and um, had already in, with, in some way contact with. And today I take you to the world of customer service, or better, the world how Mark Egan sees it. This is the world of back office. Office by Mark Egan. Um, this is a very interesting one for me for two speci uh, specific reasons. The first one is I have really absolutely no clue how this um, comic appeared on my bookmark list. Um, I, uh, one day I checked all of the, all the bookmarks and there was back office and I couldn't remember putting it there. I, I know all of the, the comics I put on this list and suddenly there was this one and I was curious why I, I put it there and after clicking on it I was even more baffled because at first sight um, back office is kind of or looks like a, a daily um, comic strip uh, kind of web comic in, in so many ways and I'm not a particular fan of this kind of um, comic genre in so many ways um, mostly because I think most of them aren't that really funny um, or per personally I don't think they are funny uh, it doesn't mean that other people don't like them um, and I'm not saying they are wrong I'm just saying that's not it's a personal thing for me and there was only one other comic this kind of um, genre that I really enjoyed and that was Freefall so yeah, I, I, I really was was, was baffled why why this one um, was there, and I started reading it because yeah, I wanted to know is is did I, did I put it there or how how did this one just appeared there, and um, I think the next time I looked uh, on the clock was one hour later and. Um, yeah, this is one one hell of a ride and one hell of a funny comic. I really didn't expect that. Um, when you start reading it, you're you you you're expecting some kind of just little comic that's that's joking about this uh, customer service things, and yeah, it does it and. Um, but not the way you expect. It's not this kind of uh, people call and what kind of jokes you can get out of that. Um, like so many other storytellers do, mostly from the other side, from the caller side. But it 
it goes if if you have a batshit insane dial, it goes from zero in, in hundred in just one. There's just one way. There's there there are no no middle bits. It's just it's there. If if you're if you're a few pages in, it just goes beyond that. It's it's it's. I, I didn't even, like I said, I was so surprised when this thing suddenly went in a direction I had no clue it would go. It's it's amazing. It's it's really amazing. It's a lot of fun and I highly recommend checking it out. It's, uh, I, I think when I, if, if I remember correctly, um, this was something that um, Mark Ing was was, or he, he tried to create characters from some friends or from friends of his girlfriend. Um, not sure anymore, so uh, you can correct me uh, uh, in the comments. But um, it, it the way what he came up with, it's um, I would never have guessed that. And this is something um, really. It's 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 really you, you can't you can't explain you have to experience it for yourself. Um, the gist of the whole story. Let's 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 start there a little bit um, late in the video. But the gist of it is just we are following um, Mike and Karen, um, two newcomers to this company um, or this this customer service uh, department, and um, their adventures there. Um, and if I'm t saying adventures, they are adventures. I'm not saying, like I said, th this is not the story that there is someone sitting there and just experience these calls and, and their bosses in some way. Um, it it you really get very early. You get the gist what's what's going to happen um, when a character called Gary uh, appears. Uh, a demon kind, <laughs> or it, it it looks like a demon or a Grim Reaper kind of of guy and. From there on out, you know in what kind of story you are in, and this goes on and on, and like I said, the dial goes up. And the best part is, um, this is not only this um, this call, or this call center, or this customer center there there in. This is just the first story arc. Um, the next story arc goes to in a totally different direction with the same characters. Um, the build-up is from uh, from the the customer service, but it goes beyond that. Believe me, I, I don't like I said I don't want to spoil it, but um, you have no idea. It, it, it where <laughs> like I said, this is something you won't you you really won't expect. And where we are now, the um, the current storyline is going even further away from that. But still, it's the it's it's the same it's the same fun things in there. And I really highly recommend checking it out. In in this case, I like I said, I don't want to spoil them uh, a lot. And I. Explicit took some. Um, it, it took me some some time to choose some comic pages for the intro bits to that show a little bit what's going on, but they end on the same page, even if they're a, a part of the bigger story in there. But don't spoil too much, so you can have fun with them uh, as a standalone because some of them are really funny if you know these kind of. Um, departments but um, they don't tell you any uh, more than that and believe me these are just the more normal ones <laughs> in any case but yeah it's it's really an amazing fun comic it's it's really and, and, and I, when i first saw it i never have guessed that this will be um one of my really favorite ones out there um and really i'm really always looking forward to a new page he's this comic started in 2010 um so nearly eight years now or over eight years uh in in short and um it's it's getting better and better, and not only this the 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 comic is getting better and better. Also, his um, his art, even if I think um, he's trying to keep the same art style, um, the art style is like like your all your your normal comic strips, and um, it's mostly black and white line art um, with not too much details, but. Even if it doesn't use that much de much details at the beginning, later there are a lot of of detailed backgrounds, shading, and everything. And it's it's getting like I said, it's it's getting more and more clear, more and more detailed. But still, he tries to keep the same, s more simple uh, kind of uh, of of. Uh, 
art style there. So it's um, his, 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 his art style is evolving over time without going into much uh, into this this very big ones like many other web comics do. And this is not a bad thing. I really enjoy these kind of, of comics and he's really great in doing this, especially in one ca in, in one specific case. He has such a big roster of characters in this whole world he created. And even if there are so many different ones, and I'm not talking about the really specific ones that um, are really uh, very unique to the comic. And just, just, just to name a few, or Gary, if you see him, uh, Magnu or Rod, or, and some others that come later. Um, even, you, even if there are very similar characters, you can... You, you 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 can see that uh, who who is who in that one, and uh, this is something I see a lot of artists struggle um, w when they use this art style, especially at the beginning, because they try too hard to differentiate them, and um, then this happens that they look very similar, like um, like just a copy or just mirrored. And you're sitting there and scratching your head with that. So Mark in has he he did a really fantastic job here. You can through the whole comic, you know. I, I think I only had one page. I had a little bit problem, but that was my own. I think mostly my own fault because I forgot about something. And um, but yeah, you, you you from the beginning you know which character is who. And um, this is it, it's a really, really uh, great art style. It's uh, like I said, he, he uses a lot. He, he can create a lot of details without creating a lot of details, um, if this makes sense. But I think a lot of you, when they w who saw the, f the first images I showed, know what I mean. Um, it's it's really he, he does a really fantastic job with that. And um, it's it's really like I said it's it's a great art style especially for this kind of, of comic and this kind of story he wants to tell um, then we while, while we just talked about that um, like I said he, he in his world there's a really really big roster of characters and normally at this point I would say this is something I hate for a lot of different reasons because again a lot of um, writers or creators or even artists struggle with that um, a lot in this case because the more characters you have the more personalities you have to try to create especially unique ones so you can uh, you can work th with them and try to f uh, you, you can put some more in, f uh, in the foreground some more in the background or uh, more side characters but everyone has to be unique so it's not that if you see a new character, you f or you, if if you see a new character, you remember their name, and this is something a lot of uh, really a lot of creators struggle with because I have read so many stories where at some point I really had to go back um, when I talked about something because I had no clue who th who this specific character was. And this was my first fear when, uh, in the beginning, so many characters started to appear. Um, I really thought. Could he hold this up? Could this go through, or will he just drop one character after another at some point, or just do st throwaway characters in in some way? You really quickly forgot. No, he takes his time. Every character you remember, every character is very unique. Um, they are they are. Maybe he took some shortcuts. I'm I'm not saying that every character is perfect. There are uh, a few cases where I say, yeah, okay, it's it, he he it wasn't the perfect choice to go that route but um, it's not that this character was a blatant copy but he did a really uh, again he did a very great job in this um, nearly all the characters I saw I remembered and um, every character that uh, appeared I could like I said I could uh, I know who he was or um, what he did in the, in the past and where this is going so um, again it's it's something I was really I really feared at the beginning but um, he showed that my fear was totally uh, yeah I, I didn't need to fear that um, one thing I have to say, I'm, but this is a personal thing. I didn't, the, I had some problems with. Um, some of the story, like I said, there are many different story arcs here, and I, at the beginning, um, I thought some parts of the story he just went too quick. I, I would have loved to see a little bit more of that. Um, 
but it just he it it, it looked like if, I don't know if he if he didn't uh, if he try if, if he didn't try to bore the people or if he really had no idea how to continue at this point to make a little bit more uh, or to show a little bit more um, but this is like I said this is just a personal thing I, I really have wished to see a little bit more of specific parts but later there was there were one or two parts where I thought it was a little bit too drawn out so um, I think this is a more personal thing uh, and Again, it's not a bad thing uh, in in, uh, in global. I think he did a really great job with the storytelling itself. Like I said, especially with uh, this many characters and the story itself. So um, again, this is just a personal thing, and I would like I said, I really highly, I highly recommend checking it out and reading it for yourself. And maybe you have you won't see these problems. You 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 skip them because you see you, you you can you for you it's not it's not a problem. So like I said, it's not a big deal for me or a big it's not a deal breaker for me. So I really love the comic even with these small things. But I just wanted to to warn you um, because like I said, I know some people might have little problems with uh, these kind of things. Um, I really have to. I really have to think if there is something else I didn't. Um, I didn't like or I. I loved. Like I said, I really enjoyed the characters. Um, especially, I, I'm, like I, said, I, I really love love Gary or Magnu. These these two are really great. But also later ones. But again, I don't want to spoil too much. These two characters are coming very early, and I showed them already in um, in the intro part. So uh, they will appear <laughs> very early. So it's not a not a big big spoiler in this way. Yeah. Um, again, it's Back Office is a really really great uh, comic uh, web comic, and I highly recommend checking it out if you like if you like um, these kind of uh, daily strip uh, comics and. Even if you don't like them, check it out. It's I. I think you will have have a big laugh. There are so many, so many jokes, so many inside jokes in there. Um, some some more detailed, some more um, in your face, some more uh, a little bit more in the background. But I think everyone will find something really enjoyable about this one. And that's again, it's it's really it's really rare to see something like this that's um, going a little bit a different route. But um, and but bring so much so much enjoyment for such a broad audience, and uh, that's why I really, again, I highly recommend checking it out, and uh, even support him. And this is not the only comic he does. There are two other ones, um, but I, I I haven't read them uh, to this date. Um, I'm sorry. I will do that, and maybe I will talk about them uh, later a little bit deeper. And uh, I would also recommend checking out his Deviant Art page because just to check out what I meant when I said he has he has very great um, talent with uh, line art. There are really great works there, and some of his uh, upcoming things you can f find there. And also, if you if you really want uh, something special, I highly recommend checking out um, the book he ha he he um, he published the back office as a as a book. Um, you can find the link on his page. I will leave the link below, and even at the end of the video, you can find it again. So yeah, um, back office by Mark Ian, a really really great little comic. I highly recommend checking out and. Um, Nothing more to say here. Yeah. So, and if you like, I said, if you like it, support Mark Egan every way you can. Um, he deserves all the attention he can get. So, thanks for watching, and see you next time. Bye.